Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this ultimate guide, I'm going to show you how to fix your slow Xbox One and lag on your menus. And I'm going to provide you five tips and more on how to fix that. Coming up next on Your6 Studios. Now the first step, I'm going to show you how to refresh your dashboard on your Xbox One. And this is very easy. If you press the left trigger, right trigger, and Y at the same time, you will see all the menus and icons on your Xbox One dashboard refresh. Go ahead and try this out and see if this helps fix your leg when you're going around the different menus. And this will also help speed up your Xbox One. So if that doesn't help, go to step two. Now press the Xbox One button on your controller and bring up the side menu. Scroll to the right to the system tab and down to settings. Scroll all the way down to disc and Blu-ray, then go down to Blu-ray. And then go down to persistent storage. Some Blu-ray discs will actually download related content and hold it in persistent storage on your Xbox. And sometimes this needs to be clear because it uses a lot of memory. The Xbox will tell you when it's full, but it's good to keep your persistent storage clear as much as possible to help increase the efficiency of your console. So let's go ahead and clear the persistent storage on our Xbox. Now it won't say like confirmed or yes or anything. Once you press the button, it will be cleared. Now let's go over to step three. Back out of the menus, now scroll up to network. Select network. Then go over to network settings. Go to the advanced settings. Scroll down to alternate Mac address. And we're going to want to clear these settings also from the alternate wired Mac address. This will force you to restart your Xbox One to apply the changes. And let's go ahead and restart our console after this step right now and then move on to step number four. So my console has completely restarted and the new settings have taken effect. Now for step four, go ahead and press the Xbox button once again and bring up that side menu and go over to settings. Now scroll down to power and startup and then go to power mode and startup. And then scroll to the right to power mode. Now your Xbox by default is going to be on instant on. Now here's something you can try. You can try changing your Xbox one from instant on over to energy saving. There have been some reports that this does speed up your Xbox One interface a little bit. However, there are some drawbacks, like you won't be able to download games when the console is off, and it will take longer for your Xbox One to start up. So try this as a last resort, and let me know how it goes down in the comments below. Same thing for step number five. There have been reported increases in performance, but there may be a degradation of quality for your resolution. So let's go back to the settings menu and then scroll up to display and sound and then go to video output. Now, if you're using like an Xbox One X or an Xbox One S and you have your display set to 4K, people are reporting that having it in 4K for your display, the menu interface runs a lot slower. However, if you go over to the video modes and then go over to allow 4K, this setting will allow native 4K content for 4K games and apps, even if your console is set to a lower resolution. So go over to allow 4K and it should allow you to run native 4K content on your 4K games, even if you have it set to 1080p, which will primarily just be your user interface, your dashboard, your home screen on your Xbox One. So let me know if that speeds up your Xbox One X. It seems like it really has a big advantage over it you may find a degradation of your resolution and this may impact your overall gaming performance. And for the last and final step, go to the front of your Xbox One and completely shut off your Xbox One by pressing and holding the power button down. Hold it until your Xbox One turns off and this will completely turn off your Xbox One. Now go ahead and start your console back up by pressing the Xbox button. So let me know if any of these steps did indeed help you guys out. This will provide me feedback and well as feedback for people watching this video on what worked and what didn't. If this video did help you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox One help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.